How's it going, everyone? Krenz here. We're back to uh, part three of our series. We're going to finish uh, upgrading uh, our little attack ship. So in this episode, whatever you want to call it, we're going to be upgrading our shield, you know, which is, you know, a little wimpy class A. We are going to be doing our cannon. We're only going to have two on this ship. We're going to be using this little class A as a model. You'll notice the range and you'll notice how low the damage is. All right. And we are also going to be upgrading our engines. Now with these, these are a little different because there's a port and starboard version of it. But as you can see, it's class A, our thrust, and that's it. So let's jump to the creation kit. Now to save time, I went ahead and found the shield. All right. So I right clicked, you know, duplicate and renamed everything. There's only four parts for a shield. So you got your constructible object, you know, you got your pack in, you know, which is your mesh, you got your keyword, and then we got our base form. This is what we need for the shield. There's really nothing to change in here. I've, uh, let's see, we got to add our name, uh, shield. So we'll put in Ranger attack ship and what we want is to come down see this right here shield health shield heal math math max and the spaceship shield max part power so right now it takes four bars to fully power up we are going to change this to eight we are going to take this now as much as i'm tempted to change this to ten thousand um, most of the, the shields for Class C's are around 1,000 or so. But we're going to change this to 5,000. Why? It's my game. I don't like dying. To be honest, I'll probably change this to 10,000 when nobody's looking and nobody will know better. But the same thing. Um, remember, it was a Class A. So, right? so we're going to make this a Class C. Before, we didn't have to change any of this, or did we? We did. We went over this before, so I shouldn't spend a lot of time on this. So if we put in ship module, right, our four classes should come up. We're going to change it to, or add the C. We're going to take this A, and we are going to delete it, and we've got to change our linked form to our O under dash version. So we need ship PI... SMOD, scroll down to the S's, shield, protect right, the martyr. That's what we're using. And we're going to go ahead and hit save. And that's it for our shield. Now let's take a look at our gun real quick. Let's come back to our gun. All right, our gun down here. It's a Dagen, Dagen. PB cannon. All right. And it's made by Shinagami. I don't know. Something like that. Uh, do do. Of course I can't get my task bar. So I'll make that smaller. Click on this. Come back to our keyword. And let's see if we can just put in dad. Dan. Dan. And Dan, I guess you pronounce it. So, all right. Now, for guns, like any of the weapons on the ships, there's five parts. All right. So, we are messing with the lowest level, the level 14. So, we have our construct object, right? So, we're going to duplicate and rename this. We have our mesh or our pack in. We are going to duplicate and rename we have our base form we're going to duplicate and rename now this the next one is new all right this is for the weapons this uh swa all right so we're gonna learn about this one today so we're going to duplicate and rename but what we are missing is our keyword and our keyword all right, so we got to put the manufacturer's name. So S H I N I G A M I. Did I look at that right? Good. 
and we need vendor we probably got to scroll down pretty far so here vendor basic parts ballistic weapon okay so that is us make sure nothing hidden in here yep weapons ballistic okay so perfect so we're gonna right click duplicate and rename okay so let's come back and put in dang dang and we'll start at the top and work our way down okay we don't need this we can close so open this up um we got to get to our o underscore version oh i got to get rid of uh my filter up here So now we need O underscore SMA weapons ballistic real easy we found it quick so hit OK let's change our dollar amount to the 25,000 and we'll change our keyword since we're here and this is gonna get back up to the top and Oh, so basic parts weapon. Okay, perfect. So we got that added in and hit OK. All right, now we don't have to do anything to our mesh. Um, let's open up our base form here. So here we got to add our name to it so it stands out. Uh, Ranger Tag Ship and the vendor. Uh, we need to change our linked form here all right so let's open this up a little bit more here so this is the exterior and this is the linked weapon we're still keeping it pretty much stock we're just uh changing the exterior all right so let's open this actually we have to change both i think this is the sma ballistic we got to change it to our new swa ballistic so we have to change both of these for weapons all right Oh, uh, nope, so double click. Get our little drop down box. Oh, so here, projectile dangin. That's what we need there. And here, we need our SWA version. Let's get back up to the top. SWA. Here's our dangin. All right, now we still need to change our class so it works on our ship. So let's add in our class C. So I'm putting in ship module. Let's add our C. All right, let's delete the class A. Now, we're not going to change too much here because um, the next... Uh, that, that SWA has everything that we need, but um, the space weapon power. So since we're gonna be making this a heavy hitter, we are going to increase the power and usage on this too. So we're gonna change that to an eight. Um, we should probably bump up the health since we're making this a class C now. So if we did like 80, 90, four, let's just make it 85. This is stuff you have to like fine tune. If you find your guns like being destroyed too easily because if you converted uh, like a class A to a C, you're just going to have to take a look at a health on a class C. But I don't want to waste time doing this. We're just going over what needs to get done. So we're going to go ahead and save that. So now let's come open up this. This is um, your weapons up here, this SWA. So a lot of tabs on here. We'll start at the beginning. Aim. I haven't messed with this. There's really no reason to because we're not changing the projectile or anything like that. We're not changing any of the ammunition, the art, the audio. We're not changing the mounting position of the turret. We're not changing the charge time. But as you notice that it's all zero, so it doesn't take any time. So like if you want one of those guns that builds up, goes whoa, boom. This is where you would change a longer charge time. What we are going to be changing is the damage. So right now it has a base damage of 10. So as tempted as I am to put this at 100, we'll put this at 75. All right. 
And as you can see up here, our damage per second went up to 519. So like if we put back 10, right, you, you're at 86.58. So we're gonna bring this up to 75. Now down here, this is your shield damage. Right now, it is doing three shield damage. So we are going to change this. So if we were at 10 and went to 75, we added up like 65. So let's make this 50. We're not gonna get a complicated math and prorations and all that stuff. But now down here, if you look at range, the minimum is 500 and the maximum is 1,000. This was always the problem with the little Class A weapons. You know, they look nice, they look cool, you know, shooting. But we're going to make this a little closer because sometimes my guns don't go off because I'm like literally flying up their butt. But we're going to make this like the big boys. We're going to change this up to 5,000 like some of the missiles. All right. Now, only thing left on here is firing rate. The rest of this stuff would be for like your handheld weapons, you know, your sabers and shotguns and like all that stuff. For the ship parts, this is all you have to worry about. Um, the first, you know, tabs here on the left. So the speed is one. The shots per second is 6.66. So the shots per second, we are literally getting off 6.66. So if we change this to two, right we are now getting off 13.32 shots per second so what happens if we leave the speed at one and well let's leave it at two and let's say if we increase this to eight now we're getting off 16 shots per second so you have to think about this do you want this as one big heavy heading gun that goes boom boom or do we want to make this like everybody's favorite, the Warthog, the A-10, and just fucking blow the shit out of something? So what happens if we change this to 30? And we come up here and change this to 4? That would literally be your Gatling gun right there. But let's think about this. We'll, we'll leave it as 2. Don't want to get yelled at as like, core, you're being so unimmersive. And it's like, but yeah, you know what? It's my game. There we go. Yeah. Yeah, I got I got a baby cat one. So we're going to go ahead and hit apply. Hit OK. And that's it. Our gun is done. So now let's bring up our little picture again to take a look at our engine to see which one we need. Why is that so small? We got to make this big again. So we need this uh, Aris DT-10. All right, by Panoptis. I guess that's how you pronounce it. Don't know. That's all we need. So we are, good grief. Um, let's try DT10, DT, can I just put in 10 without the dash? Ah, look at that, perfect. Looks like almost everything came up minus the keyword. But you will notice on here, on our pack-in or the mesh, see how it says starboard, STB, and port? This is why it gets a little bit more complicated. Now we're also introducing another new thing, this uh, form list. This can uh, cause a little bit of troubles if you don't do it right. So let's come down. We are gonna duplicate and rename our construct object. We gotta do both of our packins. Duplicate and rename, right? Um, we don't need the snap, we need up oh, so the same thing on our base form there's also two of them there's a port and a starboard issue right so duplicate and rename let's grab our starboard duplicate and rename um, we got to make sure we grab our uh, form list here duplicate and rename and the only thing we are missing is our keyword Keyword, basic part. Okay, so we got to put in the manufacturer to get it. So let's close this. The manufacturer is P-A-N, Pan, 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 Optus? Was that it? Pan Optus? Engine, DT-10. Okay, so let's scroll down, look for a keyword. Um, ship engine, 
Class A Aries. That's that's what we were using, the Aries here. So right click, duplicate, and rename. I'm getting all nervous now. Make sure I got the right one. Let's uh, open this one back up. Shift vendor, basic parts, Pantos engine. So, ooh, look at that. So I did. I got the wrong one. All right. So let's um, scroll back down. Ship upgrade engine. Nope, no SMA. Up oh, here, what's this? Basic part, Pantos engine. Okay. So this is good. We made a mistake. We should have had to delete something if you make a mistake. So duplicate and rename. So now let's come back up to the top. We can close this. Now which was the one that we made the mistake? This S300. So all you have to do, if you want to delete it from the creation kit and your plugin, just right click, hit delete, hit yes to all. And if another pop up, just uh, hit yes to all again. Now it's still here. Now what you got to do, you got to make a save close out the creation kit, reload everything back in, and this will be gone, all right? So right now that's technically gone, but it's still showing until we shut down and restart again. So let's start up with the top here. And we, see this is where it gets a little confusing. Let me just hit okay, and we come back. And look at this a little closer, SMA set. Remember this, uh, I told you about the form list? We got to put the SMA set here, all right, instead where we were actually loading our construct object before, all right. So let's open this up. Oh, get rid of our keyword up here. So we need the O dash SMA. Uh, engine paint. Oh, we got to open this up a little bit more. That's saying port. That's saying starboard. We need the one. That doesn't say port. What am I missing here? SMA engine paint. Oh, oh Aries, right? DT. R, D, T, R. It's not showing in here. Um, bum, bum, bum. Why is this not showing in here? We did create it, right? Engine. Reactor. Engine. That's definitely starboard. That's definitely port. What am I missing? All right, I'll tell you what. Let's cancel that. Let me think about it. Let me change uh, the keyword. We should be able to definitely get our keyword in here. All right, so our keyword was the vendor basic parts. The manufacturer Pantos. This was us here which was this one here. All right, so let's go ahead, hit that, hit that. Let's just hit okay for now. Um, so the keyword we don't have to change. We're not messing with the meshes right now. Let's open up our base forms on, for the port engine. Let's go ahead, maybe I have to make all the changes here. Ranger, attack ship, all right. Uh, this linked form. So this is the same thing. This, nope, this is saying a port. So we need our port S. No, oh, we're doing the ship PI. So we're putting our mesh in here. Okay. So let's come down SMOD, come down to engines. DT port. Okay, so we got that. We need to add our class C here. So add, put in ship module. Let's add in our C. 
we'll get rid of our A. All right, these, what are these? Okay, tag points we don't have to worry about. All right, we'll come back to stats. Let's uh, do the other uh, engine real quick. So let's go ahead and hit save. Let's add this back up. Let's change this to our starboard. So SMOD engine starboard. Okay, add in our class C keyword. We got that. Let's uh, delete our A. Okay. Oh, and I didn't add our name onto here. Um, so Ranger attack ship okay now let's take a look at this all right so our health this is the same thing we should technically bring up our health i think we used 75 before all right we're not gonna mess with uh fuel recharge rates um the boost we might mess with the boost but the important thing is uh so this is the thruster max power. So right now these engines were only taking four bars to fully power up. All right, so we are gonna change this to eight. All right, so if we come back, can we look at this again? This engine was good for 5,660 thrust, okay? So let's come here and open up a calculator all right so remember we originally had four here before right this isn't gonna say i wish i could pin that uh how good it is staying where is ship thruster part force let me make sure roll down space engine part force so if we take this 2830 right so 2830 times our four power bars nope oh because i it's two it's actually using this right no nope, that's not it uh what's going on here so what was that 2830 28 30 times two was the 56 56 so let me make this bigger so we can kind of see it all without scrolling. So your engine power is calculated by using the ship engine part force by the ship engine's max power, okay? Oh, so I changed the wrong thing here. This was thrust max power. So this is just putting more power in the thrust. So this actual engine was only using two bars. So this is what we want to change to eight. All right, so we want to get um, 15,000 out of each engine, right? So if we take this 3830, right? Let's clear this. This 3830 times eight. That's given us 2264. So let's clear that. Let's take this 20. 830 divided by 15,000. Why did I come up wrong? 15,000 divided by 28, sorry, 5.3. So, oh, now I lost my uh, place where I was at. So we have this, and we want to actually change. Now I want to, all right, I'm doing this wrong. So let's just do this. I'm not thinking clearly. Let's just take this 15,000, right, divided by eight, because I still want the engine to use eight power bars. So we need to change the 2830 down to 1875. Okay. So we got to remember this 1875 and eight. Um, we changed, 
right? We changed and we changed our name up there. So let's save that. Let's come back up to our port engine, right? I got our name. We are changing this to 1875 and our max power, right? Ship boost speed, spaceship engine, max power. And this was getting changed to eight, right? So I should have 1875 and eight. Let's open up this one. Um, try to line them up here. So we got 1875 and we got eight. So we are perfect. So go ahead and hit save. Let's hit save. Now let's revisit our form list here. Uh, oh, you know why? This, this is the confusing part. It was this we were supposed to come back to. All right. So now we were going to try to change this, right? And our O underscore version isn't coming up because the only thing that's coming up is our port and starboard version, not the set, this SMA set. So if we double check this, right, just to confirm, SMA underscore, nope, actually it's right here. I just wasn't seeing it before. So SMA, I just saw it, set. That's what we need to change this to. All right, so we are good here now. I didn't change my dollar amount. Good thing we noticed that before. And we've already changed our keyword, okay? We're gonna hit okay. Now let's come back to our form list. Now, this confused the crap out of me before. So now, if I try to change this, right? My stats come back up. I can't change the form. So let's take a look what's here. We actually have the SMA engine port, right? It's the SMA that's in here. It's not the, the ship PI, you know, it's not the CO SMA. It's actually, this is our port and this is our starboard. So if we take these two, right, highlight them, drag and drop them in here, here's our new base forms. So we'll take these two, highlight them, and we're just going to delete them. That's it. Oh, we should just put on here, change our name, Ranger, Attack, Ship. Okay, hit save. Told you engines were a little bit trickier. That's it. So let's just hit save. We need to come add our, our keywords to our vendor. So we need Ship, Service, right? Am I going to have to go look for everybody? If I can just click Actors, maybe. We need our buddy here in uh, Aquila. Uh, come into keyword. We're going to add. We're going to try to reduce this by putting in Ranger, Attack, Ship. All right. So here is everything. And what did we do today? We did... Not grab drive, we did a shield. Now I'm holding down control so I can click more. We did an engine and we did a weapon. So the three middle ones. Hit OK. So they got added in. Hit OK. And I'll come, you know, I've been doing uh, both locations, New Atlantis. So we're going to right click, add. Our filter should already be there. We need our shield. Let's make sure nothing's changed. We got our engine and we got our weapon and hit OK. Hit OK. And let's make a save. Let's minimize this. We don't need our calculator anymore. Remember, what were we doing? We were doing 1875 times 8. So our engine should be at 15,000 power. Let's find Steam, Library, Library. Let's launch our game and see what we got. This is going super fast. I'm super excited. Hopefully everything works. Minimize that. And it's home day.
We are slowly making it through the week. I really do hope this all works. Bob's ready to go out. So let's hit continue. Good, I'm in town. Now yesterday I did make this video and it was like an hour long. I had mistakes in here. I added them in. I don't know if I went back to a far enough save where the parts were on or if I have invisible parts. Uh, we're going to find out. Let's talk to our buddy here. Hey, what can I do for you? Like the view, modify sure. my ship. How about it? I don't even see guns on there so got no engine so this is gonna work out good we're actually missing stuff so it just disappeared anyway so let's hit what do we got hit we gotta hit B let's shoot over hit G and we're here on weapons so right here here's our weapon our ranger attack and as you can see our range has gone up to uh, a good range our fire rate is pretty high, and our hull and our shield damage is pretty high. So, let's go ahead. Actually, you know what? Well, I got this highlighted. Control D. Let's, I'm going to scroll down. It's F. That's good. Let's get ourselves spun around. F. Alright, that's good. We might as well just assign our little weapon right now to get rid of this air all right um, this is good bring up g again so what comes next we need a shield and our engines all right let's find our little shield here we go the martyr all right and that has a 5000 health which we changed to which is good so grab that let's come up perfect so let's come back and let's do our engines now Hopefully we did the engines right and here's our attack engine and look at that our, uh, we got 15,000 of Thrust of power, so we need that Let's control D now remember we had the port and starboard that whole thing with uh, the link form See now I'm holding it our Z option is working if you didn't fall, uh, do that uh, leveled form correctly you would literally would have to make separate engines and they would show up separate in the, the ship version instead of just the one where you could uh, rotate it with, uh, whatchamacallit, the Z button. All right, so we look pretty good here. I got plenty of money to buy this stuff. Um, so what do we gotta do? Let me highlight this whole thing. Let's fix our coloring. So coloring, we want nice and white. Coloring two. Uh, I don't know what we want. Make it nice red. I guess that looks good. Three. And make it dark. That looks good. I thought we had red. Oh, because I gotta come like out here. Perfect. Perfect. Nail it up. Hit enter. Alright, let's exit out of here. Warnings. Okay, so we don't have any more guns. So that's perfect. Let's double time out to the hangar. You should have changed the name because it's not a sad little ship anymore. So, let's get in here and see what we got. But I guess we should have looked at this fully done. Next video is on this freaking ship uh, something lovable. So let's just bring up H real quick and look at our stats, right? So we got our good reactor with 60 power. We still got our four crew and we got our shields at 800. We still have our 30 light years, okay? I guess we should have looked in the ship builder, but let's just take off and so we can check out our uh, power limits. We might have to fine tune the reactor song. I might have forgotten to boost power requirements on something else. Struts retract. 
But at this point, you could modify every single part on the ship. It's a structural Hell of a view from here. Alright, so we're in friendly space. So let's take a look. Um, let's fully power up our shield, right? Let's fully power up our engine. And slow us down. And let's fully power up our gun. Alright. At this point, we'll fully power up our uh, grab drive. So I wanted to change the speed on here. I wanted to bring this up to 250 or something, but I kind of forgot. So before we get too carried away, let's make a hard save. Because this isn't gonna be pretty. Let's uh find somebody here. Look at that. That's it, everyone. Catch you later.